So Paul continues in his honest feedback to the Corinthian community today. And I think this feedback that St. Paul gives to the Corinthians is not just designed for that specific community of that particular time. I've experienced, and I'm sure all of us have had at different times, experienced parishes that sometimes break into different cliques or different factions. That, one, that some groups are supporting a particular person, almost a bit like what St. Paul is saying. I am for Apollos, or I am for Paul, or I am for Peter, Cephas, and so on. And we have these different groups. This can easily happen, especially where there's been a pastor in a place for a long time who's, who's particularly well-loved. Sometimes it can be a challenge for the next person because everyone's anything the next person does, well, it's got to be different to what's happened before, so the, everybody seems to love that previous person. And forget that what our faith is about is not about the individual. You don't come to church, you don't participate in our live streams because of me. And if you do, please don't. I, you might think it's nice that you're coming because you want to see me in the morning. <laughs> well, well, don't. <laughs> That's not what we're here for. And this is what some, this is what some Paul in his, his courage is saying. This is not about the individual. We are about Jesus Christ. And if we're not about Jesus Christ, and we all become about me or the ego of me or the ego of different members of our community, we've lost the plot. But this does happen. Yeah, I'm sure each of us have probably seen this at different times, in different parishes, different contexts. We sort of, oh, we, we really want to be protecting this particular person. We really like what this person's doing, so we're going to, and someone else is doing something slightly differently to what that previous person's done, so that we, we create this big, this big fight at times. This is not what Christian communities are about. But it has happened. So Paul saw this happen in Corinth. Oh, we're with him. No, 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 no we're not with him. We're with him over there. And we have this fight going on. If we're going to put our hand up to say we're with someone, we are with Jesus Christ. We come to church, we worship, not because we have a comfortable building or because we have a really nice live stream or because we have a, a cheery, happy priest occasionally or not a cheery, happy priest occasionally, but it's because we are worshipping God. Because we are people of Jesus Christ, he has chosen us. And St Paul says, he uses this beautiful analogy he said, I've been providing you milk, a bit like little children. You haven't really got the real solid stuff yet because you, you aren't ready for that yet. And at times we're not ready to hear some of the challenging messages that St Paul is saying to us today as well. A lot of things in our faith can be trivial, but not Jesus Christ. Let us reaffirm today in our own hearts what are we about why do we worship why do we come to church it's not because of the routine of our life it's not because we like to see the other people around us although that's important it's because of Jesus Christ that he's come he wants to make a home in me and in you every day what courageous words of St Paul to remind us of this today let us not be about Apollos or about Paul or Cephas or about James, or about whoever. Let's be about Jesus Christ.